documentary uh, film festival that we conducted for the last five days. And uh, today we will be, uh, and today we also have with us the filmmaker, Miss uh, Ritambra as well, with whom we will be continuing the, yeah, hi Ritambra. Right. Hi, hi. So with whom we will be continuing the conversation after the movie. Uh, today, uh, for the last day, uh, we will be uh, screening a film made in collaboration with uh, Nazaria. And that's called Ishq Dosti and all that. Uh, it's a reflection on uh, uh, reflections on love, desire, dating, friendship and intimate relationships by two people, a lesbian and a trans man. Screened at festivals in Bangalore, Calcutta, Chennai, uh, Colombo, Delhi, Mumbai, Patna, and Philadelphia. Uh, we are delighted to have this film as our final movie. As with this, we will be sharing stories of uh, we will be sharing stories of a kind which needs to be heard more and reflected upon. So, without further ado, I would like to uh, commence with the screening of the movie. One second. तुम WhatsApp पे कितना time लगा ही रहते हो? WhatsApp में मैं जब time मिल जाता है, मतलब मेरे girlfriend जितने हैं, वो उन सब को reply देती हूँ। पहले message देख लेती हूँ, कुछ अच्छा interesting हो तो chatting करती हूँ, नहीं तो बाद में। आपको पता है पापा को शादी के लिए भेजे थे कि 
आपके बड़े बेटे की तो शादी होगी छोटे छोटे बेटे के लिए हाँ हम बोल कर हंस रहे थे पता नहीं था मैं तो बस खेलती थी स्कूल में जाती थी बॉयज बॉयज लोग के साथ मारपीट करती थी बस आ जाती थी और मेरे ये सब चक्कर नहीं थे It has so many memories, like every space, like every bit and piece of it. So we were like this infamous lesbians of Savarmati in that place because people had walked in on us multiple times. And we sort of queerized that particular floor altogether. Like everybody knew what what the hell was going on in in room one two four. I think when you are in love, it it feels like you can do everything in this world, and we were trying to figure that out, like you know. One of my first encounters with queer individuals on campus happened with this good friend of mine, and he was like so openly gay and like so cool about it. Like you know, he was flamboyant and he was an incredible person for that matter. And it was such a heartening experience for me to then come across somebody who was so comfortable in their skin, and that sort of gave me that courage to maybe slowly open up to other individuals about my queerness. I would not say that we weren't subjected to a lot of hectic and homophobia. Half the time there would be people who would be like, "Arey, ye to animal studies ke department se aa gaye hai and things like that." We had no clue what was going on. So yeah, and yeah, but men were subjected to a different kind of homophobia. Women's experience didn't even matter because women's sexuality and desire didn't matter. So if this woman says that, okay, you know what? I like women. I'm bisexual or I'm lesbian. They would not register it. So it was crazy, and there was a lot of resistance. Like you know, we were like constantly fighting with individuals to make them understand what love is and what our love meant for that matter. वो भी एक साल बड़ी थी मुझे टेंथ में वो शायद पढ़ती थी मैं नाइन्थ में पढ़ रही थी वो बगल में बैठ के फिर हम बातें किए वो विंटर में हो रहा था बाहर मच्छर काट रहे थे और मैंने कहा कि रूम पे जाके बात करें मुझे बोला कि रूम पे कैसे बात करेंगे सब कोई है ना हम यहीं पे बैठेंगे वो बेडशीट ले आती है पैर के ऊपर डाल देते हैं फिर बात करते हैं और उसका भी एक कोई बॉयफ्रेंड था वो भी शेयर की थी मुझे स्कूल में मैंने कहा ठीक है बहुत बढ़िया मुझे ये सब पता नहीं था क्योंकि ये सब हम देखे मैं प्लस थी हॉस्टल में जाना कि बच्चे कहाँ से पैदा होते हैं <laughs> मैं सोचा कि लेकिन इस कर देने से बच्चा <laughs> पहले बोला कि ऐसे कि मैं किस करूँ हाँ करो 
तो यहाँ पे किए फिर लिप किस के तो मैं चुप शांत रहा कुछ नहीं बोला फिर आपने हाथ मेरे हाथ को लेके उसके बॉडी को टच करने के लिए बोला तो ये हुआ तो कुछ कुछ मुझे भी कुछ कुछ हुआ उस टाइम ये ठीक नहीं है उसको मैं बोल रहा था उस टाइम ये ठीक नहीं है पहली बार हो रहा था ना पता नहीं था चलो वही से सीख लिया सब कुछ ये तो सब स्टार्टिंग स्टार्टिंग में तब तो बहुत बन गए जिसको भी देखो प्यार हो जाता है जिसको भी देखो प्यार हुआ प्लस थ्री सेकेंड ईयर में हम लोग का सात आठ साल चला उसकी शादी के चार साल उससे पहले चार साल उसके साथ ज़्यादा फीलिंग्स आ गया था मतलब आ गया था कि अभी भी है कि वो सपोर्ट करती थी मुझे ऐसे करो ऐसे ना करो तो मुझे लगा कि ये मेरे लिए सही है लेकिन उस टाइम में बोला था प्लस थ्री तो इतना आइडिया भी नहीं था तो मैंने कहा कि घर में जहाँ बोलते करो फिर ये हम लोग का रहेगा कंटिन्यू रहेगा मान भी गया था और शादी उसके शादी का सारा ही फोटो वो मुझे ही देख रही उसका शादी का जो भी फोटोज है वीडियोज है सब मुझे ही देख रही दुख तो लगा फिर ठीक हो गया धीरे 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 एडजस्ट हो गया So uh, conveyed it to me in some way that 
whether I don't know whether it would be right to say that you know maybe the space that they have provided me no, it was not yeah. suitable or maybe they have failed to provide me the kind of I environment know. that mm. I wanted which is here and she has recognized mm. it mm. Everybody who sees us living in the commune assume that we are a couple. Like we have our next door neighbor who actually asked me that what was my husband up to, and so of course we make that conversation up. And he's like, yeah, he's into business, and you know, I keep on waiting for him. He doesn't show up. I don't know what he's up to, and so on. So there's this whole angle of performing to be straight, and that is something that one has to deal with all the time. be my workplace be it be the streets i have to be a woman i have to be a gendered assigned female at birth and any kind of gender transgressions at times is like frowned upon so i think the commune has given us in uh, in some ways a breathing space to be who we are as i started living here i realized i like i get why somebody like virginia woolf would write a room of one soul because You need a space of your own to be who you are. So yeah, I like that. Tere dil mein aaj kya hai? उल्टा हो गया है मेरे दिल में है लेकिन मैं तुझे बोल रही हूँ मेरे दिल में मेरे मेरे दिल में क्या है तुझे क्या जाना है तू मैं तेरे दिल में क्या है आज तू बता मैं जानू हाँ बोल तेरे दिल में क्या है दिल में कुछ नहीं है हम लोग खूब नाचते हैं लेकिन शाम को आठ बजे के बाद हम मिलते हैं सब एक साथ उस दिन किसका काम हो तो अलग बात है लेकिन दस बजे तक खूब नाचते जरूर मिलते हैं दस मिनट के लिए भी क्यों ना हो लेकिन मिलते हैं एक भुवनेश्वर में दो दिन का कैंप लगा हुआ था तो ये भी वहाँ पे था फिर पूरी आके मिलने लगे फिर अभी उस दिन से अभी तक हम रोज शाम को मिलते हैं तभी वो जो मीटिंग में गए थे तभी पता चला ना कि हाँ मेरे जैसे भी लोग सोचते हैं इतने सालों से थे लेकिन किसी को पहचान नहीं पाए कोई किसी को जानता नहीं था, नहीं था। उस मीटिंग से ही पता चला हाँ क्योंकि तो दूसरे जो लोग होते हैं वो समझ नहीं पाते हमारे दिल को किसी को बोलो भी तो वो ऐसे हाँ ऐसे कैसे हाँ ऐसे तुम लोग कैसे फील करते हो हम लोगों के बीच में ये बताना नहीं पड़ता क्योंकि वो भी मेरे टाइप के हैं तो वो समझ जाते हैं कि मैं क्या फील करता हूँ क्या सोचता हूँ क्या चाहिए तो वो इस बात की गहरी दुस्ती हो जाती है
Okay, uh, thank you. So uh, with this, we would like to, I would like to invite Ms. Ritamra Mehta. She's the co-founder of uh, Nazaria, a Delhi-based queer feminist resource group, uh, where she's responsible for overall organizational development. She also conducts training sessions with school, university students, and development organizations on gender, sexuality, and sexual harassment. She identifies as a queer feminist. Through her work, she has been keen on to engage in conversations around processes that are people-centric, fair, and constructive. She has a bachelor degree in political science and a postgraduate diploma in conflict uh, transformation, uh, peace building from uh, Lady Sri Ram College, um, Delhi University. She's graduated with a master's degree in international relations from Jawaharlal Nehru University. Uh, and uh, with this, I would also like to introduce Ms. Ritambara to our uh, fellow students who will be, uh, you know, taking part in the panel discussion and asking questions to her. We have uh, Samiksha Gosan uh, from English department. And then we have Rama Singh. Uh, she's also pursuing uh, English. And then we have Javisha Rawat from journalism department. So with this, I would like to uh, <coughs> commence the panel discussion. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, Rama, you can start with the questions. Uh, Rama, Samiksha, and Javisha. Yes, thank you so much, ma'am. It is a pleasure being a part of this discussion today, and I'm so looking forward to it. So my question is that, being a huge Bollywood fan myself, I can never get over the dialogue of SRK that Pyar dosti hai, love is friendship. And I think this fits well in this documentary too, Ishq Dosti and all that. So my question is that how important is friendship in our life and for everyone around us? How important it is for anyone to find a good friend? Um... <laughs> Thanks, Jivisha, and thank you for organizing the film screening. Um, Nazaria is quite excited to be here. Um, I, whatever I say, I speak on behalf of Nazaria. Of course, uh, some things that I'm going to say will be my own opinion. Um, as far as that whole Pyar Dosti and why why we decided to make a film on uh, Ishq and Dosti, um, often a lot of uh, visual material that we find on queer lives centers around either violence. So we often hear of violence on queer lives or we often hear about coupledom. So there is that, uh, there's some sort of a binary. Um, either we either we want to, we want to see queer people, LGBT people as victims or um, we want them to, to settle down and be in a loving relationship with another person. But we often do not take into account uh, the fact a lot of queer people who in the process of coming out or um, in case of people who have not been accepted by their parents, um, they usually forge deep relationships with, with, call them whatever, call them friends, call them confidants, call them mentors or call them whatever. And um, this is something we, we don't often hear about and we just wanted to make a film on 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 friendships on fleeting romances on dating um and yeah so we didn't want to sort of fall into this whole trap of that let's make either a film on simply dating or coupledom or violence we just wanted um the film to be a light take on queer lives Thank you, ma'am. And I guess uh, Rama has something to ask you. Uh, hi, Ratambra. There was hi, uh, hi. It was a great movie, and I, I. So my main question was that throughout we see the sense of, um, you know, lack of awareness, not just among the protagonist as well, but the mm. people around them. We see this need for where both of them realize that, you know, they really needed to find a community, find at least somebody like them to be able to express themselves the, the, the way they wanted to. 
And as we see in the conversation, in the housemates conversation, mm-hmm. it's uh, it's only when you know the person's mother sees him in his community that she realizes that oh, they must have been you know lacking in some way. So mm-hmm. there, there is this whole sense of how if you are not exposed to the to, to the side to the conversation, then then there's also or uh, the, there is always going to be a lack so how do you think we should you know make it accessible especially for for students for children so that as they're growing up they don't feel the sort of alienation with them that only when they've already grown up into adults that they can finally do something about it um yeah what do you think is like ways to go about that um rama one of the ways to go about it is to actually have say for instance a film screening like this where we are having a discussion on 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 uh, on lgbt issues on queer lives on what it what it means to be a queer person outside of my family outside of my lover um there was this huge uproar about uh, ncrt withdrawing um this 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 resource manual for trans people that that a lot of people worked on um that would have been an excellent opportunity for a lot of people growing up to 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 see some kind of representation where if if a, if a person who's growing up who does not uh, identify as totally straight or identify as uh, identify with the gender they were assigned at birth uh, for them it's a it's a huge relief to see their reality being represented in a textbook that textbooks and school education is something that all of us sort of go through right and a lot of us a lot of people who don't who don't who don't fall into that norm or who don't think that who who are not straight or who are not uh, cisgender who don't conform with the gender norms and the gender that they were assigned at birth um a lot of us saw that there's a lack of representation in our school textbooks we saw that there's a, lo- a lack of uh, representation from the teachers who were teaching us for instance so um by by actually having discussions like these by introducing um realities of not normal people so to speak or people who are who are different from the norm it's important to include that in the curriculum as well in fact not just school textbooks but uh, but for additional for supplementary material that's meant for people to read um games meant for people to play um films that we watch tv shows that we watch um to to have positive representations of uh, people who people who, are, who, who who people who are different or people who don't uh, fit certain kinds of norms and even if say only 25 or people are attending this it's a huge number just imagine us 25 of us will will perhaps go out and talk about <laughs> this film or talk about uh, the protagonist of this film or talk about uh, queer lives outside of our outside of this particular space just just imagine the impact it's going to Uh um, oh, yeah thank you uh i would now like to pass on to samiksha for for the questions no uh can you hear me no i guess yeah first of all i would like to say what a refreshing movie you know the tone and everything there is something it felt something new to watch So my thing is you talked about representation and you talked about you know seeing that something that reflects the norm mm. I do believe that presenting queer visuals is a political act in itself and you know would you say that ish dosti and all that is a way to express that loving someone is not just a declaration of self but also a way to become politically liberated you know mm-hmm. um So Nisha when they think of it uh, <laughs> this way of course the intention when Nazaria applied for a grant to PSPT when we decided to make a film on um outside of the soul trope of violence and coupledom 
um of course it was a political act of course um the idea was to put something out there in fact uh, one of the things that we couldn't talk about in the film otherwise the film would have got a adult rating from the censor board um was to talk about uh, desire was to talk about sex for example um how priyam talks about this room number 124 and it was an infamous room people walked in and out um the fact that um, sex was also a part of that relationship for instance like is an essential part of any queer relationship or any relationship for that matter forget queer um that was also going to be political in nature but um the 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 fact that it would have gotten an adult rating from the censor board and we wanted the film uh to be viewed by people under the age of 18 as well because we 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 realized the importance of this when we realized how important it is it is for people to for for trans men to relate to a character who's 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 struggling with their gender identity or for a young person to 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 see a person like priyam who's who's out there and who who who's comfortable talking about her love life who's comfortable talking about her commune and all of those things and we realized we realized the importance of that act and hence we decided to um compromise so it's 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 always even if it's a political act there's always that uh, you always weigh your <laughs> yeah right i do believe that uh, that part with priyam talking about sex and it is coming in the convention it would have been it would have heightened the experience. experience now that i know about it i want to watch her talk about it <laughs> because i actually loved the film yeah so thank you i think uh, somebody you. else they have a question okay uh, hi ritamra so i hi, just Amar. so one more question so you talked about you know that even if uh, in you are making political statements by asserting yourself that you always need to be uh, <laughs> you know still sort of careful you need to pick your battles mm-hmm. and see what you present out there and what you don't um so you know in the movie the, the protagonist talks about how there's while the people currently are not accepting he you know he has hope that maybe in mm-hmm. the future they will be better that there will be more exposure and so my question and it's the same thing with like both of them both of them are hoping that as as they grow into themselves more maybe the people around them will become more accepting mm. and so my question is uh you know how uh how much is it like is it uh, is it necessary for them that to come out that is that is that something that's required you know for a queer person to actually claim to the world that oh, i am queer and like this is my identity and if if they're choosing not to do that if they're choosing that you know it's it's nobody else's business then is that it, like in the current narrative how do you think that that plays out is it is it hiding or is it just is it is it also a sense of like assertion that you know it's not something that i'm supposed to tell i mean it's not it doesn't matter in that sense mm-hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, there is no easy way to answer this question so for example it's it's slightly unrelated but uh, roops at some point in the film um it's in the beginning only um he talks about how a lot of people refer to him as madam right and then at some point he also says that people who matter the most are accepting of his gender identity and that's what is important and then there was another aspect the third aspect was that how a lot of people around him view him as a as a as a, as a boy ki mujhe shaadi ke rishte aate hain ki aapke bade bete ki shaadi ho gayi aap chote bete ki ab shaadi kara do so um and the point that i'm trying to make here is that uh, these are three existing realities where people still refer to him as madam where his family accepts him where uh, potential uh, suitors <laughs> see him as a as a young man who who they think their daughter should maybe the daughter thinks that she she should get married to him and all of those things so the idea um and there's very well uh, a possibility that 
he may be out to some people and he may not be out to some people priyam doesn't really talk about it um a lot of people that we know from the queer community are out and proud but may not necessarily talk about their gender identity or sexuality um there are some people who who make it a point to talk about it so there is no um there is no script to like none of us follow us script in terms of what needs to be done when it comes to coming out or what needs to be uh whether we need to come out or not or whether we need to be open about our sexuality or or the fact that uh, i am with a female partner for example i'm with a woman partner that that's a statement in itself for instance or the fact that as a as a gender diverse person um in puri uh some people see me as a woman but at the same time i'm asserting my identity as a as a as a man as well so all of these things go <laughs> hand in hand um it's not necessarily always about coming out it's not necessarily always about not coming out um you assert your identity you assert your preferences you assert your values and world views in in these multiple ways and this is something all of us need to realize because um rama what also tends to happen is we 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 we, we relate certain aspects with queer lives coupled um sex coming out um so on and so forth but queer lives are also equally complicated in terms of there's so many so many facets to a person's life that we often don't uh, think about it that that all of these realities coexist priyam also plays along no when when the neighbor says that there is a husband she also plays along and like all of them play along <laughs> so does that mean that they are trying to hide their identity no <laughs> they are just being playful about it or as she puts it they there is this whole performance to <laughs> their daily life yeah yeah yes mom yeah because so yeah that's like everybody assumes that, you know if you are queer you should you should the only way to assert yourself is to tell everybody that you're uh, that you know you belong to the community and oh, that's there's so much pressure there's so much pressure by people around you that when are you going to come out when are you going to tell your parents or yeah, celebrating coming out <laughs> yeah if you don't like tell your parents or yeah, yeah. you don't want to do what until a certain point then yeah. people think it's because you know you're scared of either how they will react or you're not very confident in your own identity but obviously that's that's not how it is it's it's people need to like even if like you're a straight person you don't tell everything to everybody if you tell uh-huh. yeah with, exactly with so yeah i so i mean it's just i think because of the conversation the downside of it has been that it's become very weirdly in that sense i don't know a, a, a debate kind of thing like a political thing that that you need to do this or you're not doing it right oh Even, there is there is only one way to be an lgbt person <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah basically yeah. they they like put standards even in even to be queer <laughs> exactly yeah yeah uh okay thank you so much it was like a delightful discussion i think there are um, some people in the audience who want to have ask questions there's somebody named bulbul so um sure bulbul you can either type a question in the chat box so you can uh, you know switch off your mic and ask thank you hello am i audible yes so can i start the video call or not yes 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 uh, we have <clears throat> i think you can unmute and open your uh, start your video as well okay hello hi everyone so my question is uh, on a part of the uh, this uh, screening jisme ye dikhaya ki two three members are living together uh, as a friend so jab kahi bhi hum rent pe lete hain to hame hamare basic documents dene padte hain aur jab hum kahi rent pe lene ki baat karte to kisi jaise if there is a boy to hame batana padta hai ki we are living with this person aur relation bhi batana padta hai jo documents se clearly dikh jata hai ki nahi yaar ye brother to nahi hai 
दे आर फ्रेंड्स जब इंडिया की बात की जाए तो इंडिया में लिव इन के नाम पर कपल्स को रहना अलाउड नहीं है बेसिक डॉक्यूमेंट्स मांगे जाते हैं रेंट एग्रीमेंट या जो भी उसके लिए तो फिर इंडिया में कैसे पॉसिबल होगा कि कम्युनिटी पीपल या एज ए फ्रेंड दे आर लिविंग टूगेदर टू गर्ल्स या वन बॉय जो रिसेंटली हाउ पॉलिसी मेकर दे आर डीलिंग विथ इट और अगर एनजीओ से और एक्टिविस्ट है दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इट और नॉट क्योंकि मैंने अभी तक ये कहीं नहीं देखा ये कहीं नहीं सुना कि इस मुद्दे पे या इस इश्यू पे बात भी की जा रही है ये बड़ा प्रॉब्लम होता है कि जहाँ कहीं भी रेंट पे लेने जाना है चाहे ब्रोकर के थ्रू जाओ चाहे उसको पैसा देकर जाओ कि भाई इंटरफेरेंस वाला नहीं चाहिए तब भी ये प्रॉब्लम आती है आप सोसाइटी के बीच में रह रहे होते हो नेबर्स होते हैं दे क्वेश्चन योर रिलेशन विद द पर्सन सो नो दैट्स ये तो बहुत थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट है पूछने में भी डिफिकल्ट है मतलब इट वाज नॉट वेरी मच क्लियर इन माय माइंड नहीं बट इट्स अ जेन्युइन क्वेश्चन इन केस ऑफ प्रियम एंड हर फ्रेंड्स लिविंग टुगेदर all of them um, i think at some point priyam also talks about it that all of them are students oh, at least yeah. at that particular point they were students okay. they were they were affiliated to some university and perhaps that made it slightly easier for them to get a house, like get, get a house together um, okay. when, when when you when you tell a house owner that uh, we are students in a particular university oh. and we want to live together वो फिर भी कुछ हाउस ओनर्स को समझ में आ जाता है कॉन्सेप्ट कि पीजी की तरह रह, रहेंगे या फिर okay. स्टूडेंट्स रहेंगे बट व्हाट इफ यू आर नॉट अ स्टूडेंट व्हाट इफ यू आर अ कपल इफ यू आर टू वुमेन हु वुड लाइक टू रेंट अ हाउस टुगेदर इफ यू इफ यू आर टू हु वुड लाइक टू रेंट अ हाउस ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ कोर्स इट इज डिफिकल्ट बट सी ऑफन व्हाट टेंस टू हैपन इज um अगेन इसका कोई लीनियर तरीका नहीं है बट अ लॉट ऑफ वीमेन हैव अ लॉट ऑफ कपल्स वीमेन कपल्स हैव स्टे टुगेदर बाय सेइंग दैट दे आर फ्रेंड्स फॉर एग्जांपल दैट वी आर बट इवन दे आर क्वेश्चनड इफ दे से दैट दे आर फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज़ दोनों के आधार कार्ड पे सब अलग है डिटेल लॉन्ग टाइम फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम दे कांट स्टे टुगेदर एक साल दो साल people will start question no, absolutely of course it is difficult it is difficult for men to yes. get housing in delhi and and see i think agar if we look at the larger picture it is yes. if, if you're not a certain kind of a family say for example in delhi if you want okay. a house for rent in a place like lajpat nagar or i'm just i'm just take an example you have to be a certain kind of family forget about uh, okay. two women forget about two men I don't know how difficult it is for people from the northeast to get housing in 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 certain areas in Delhi, or mm-hmm. how easy it is for uh, Muslim people to get housing in a certain area in Delhi. So housing right. is, housing is so complicated and so political in nature. किसको कहाँ घर कैसे मिलता है? Um, unless and until you are from a predominant uh, caste and a religion mm-hmm. and with 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 with. kids and parents and what not otherwise it's super difficult to get a house when me and my flatmate we were looking we are two women uh we have been friends for 13 years when we were looking for a house there was this constant question that women in their 30s shaadi bhi nahi hui hai you're not even together you're not even lovers why are you right house together <laughs> राइट आपके सेटल होने का टाइम है सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर्थ बट वी आल्सो रियलाइज दैट बिकॉज़ ऑफ अ कास्ट प्रिविलेज बिकॉज़ ऑफ आवर नेम्स वी वर स्टिल एबल टू गेट अ हाउस व्हिच अ लॉट ऑफ अदर पीपल मे नॉट बी एबल टू गेट सो इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट जस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फॉर सेम सेक्स पीपल टू गेट हाउसिंग इट इज इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर जनरली इफ यू आर नॉट इफ इफ यू डोंट फिट इन द नॉर्म इट्स डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू गेट हाउसिंग या There is also one thing uh, जैसे कोई community का friend है कोई tomboy है उसका हेयर कट मेरे जैसा है तो मैं उसको यहाँ मतलब लाने में मुझे बहुत डर लगता है कि मुझ अभी डाउट नहीं है दिस प्लेस इज ऑन लीज ये रेंट पे अभी उनको डाउट नहीं है बट uh, मुझे लगता है कभी ऐसे जो भी फ्रेंड्स है उनको आई नेवर कभी भी यहाँ किसी को भी नहीं लेकर आती हूँ मतलब इवन नॉट ए फेमिनाइन गर्ल इवन नॉट ए फ्रेंड चाहे वो दस साल पुरानी हो पंद्रह साल नहीं बिकॉज उनको ये लगता है ना ये पर्सन इतना अकेले अकेले दिन भर अकेले रहता है अकेले ही रहता है फैमिली का कोई नहीं आता जाता है समथिंग कुछ और लफड़ा जो भी है माइंड में कुछ जो भी है इनसिक्योरिटी yeah. yeah. हमेशा रहती है कि 
क्लियरली बोलो तो भी समझ नहीं आता क्लियरली नहीं बताओ तो भी समझ नहीं आता और मुझे ऐसा लगता है मुझे जो एक रिसेंटली सुनने में आता रहता है मेरे जो ओनर है वो पंजाबी है सिख है तो उनकी फैमिली जो उससे बोलते रहते यार हमारे इसमें ना बाल अगर कोई कटवाता है ना तो उसके साथ कुछ कुछ चीजें अजीब होने लग जाती है तो मुझसे कहते हैं यार इस बार तुम्हें काम करो तुम्हारे एग्जाम से पहले तुम बाल बढ़ाना देखना एवरीथिंग विल बी गुड विथ यू डिफरेंट लॉजिक डिफरेंट थिंग्स कुछ भी ऑन हेयर कट कुछ भी दो आई दो आई इग्नोर विथ ए स्माइल विद फैमिली काइंड ऑफ स्माइल बिकॉज दे लिव लाइक अ फैमिली विथ मी सो आई नेवर हाइड एनीथिंग फ्रॉम देम बट इसके बावजूद एक इनसिक्योरिटी फील होती है आई डोंट नो हाउ टू मैनेज अगर ऐसे कभी आप कम्युनिटी में फ्रेंड्स के साथ रहते भी हो चाहे देर इज अ बॉय देर इज अ गर्ल तो पता नहीं सोसाइटी में कैसे मैनेज करना है हाउ टू आंसर देयर क्वेश्चन आप कितना भी कूल माइंड के हो कितना भी जॉली नेचर के हो बट इट विल की प्रेशराइजिंग यू कहीं ना कहीं से कुछ ना कुछ कुछ ना कुछ आता ही रहेगा राइट 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 नो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट ममता यू हैड अ क्वेश्चन I have one question in the chat box. I'll read it out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this the question is: How did you come across these characters? Are you still in touch with them? Has there been a change in your interaction with them once the film is done and screened? How do you see such a change taking place? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So it's a it's a um it's a collaborative. initiative making this film so my colleague um, from nazaria in fact at some point roops and amy also talk about this particular uh, consultation this particular uh, workshop um that's where my colleague and roops met and my colleague was really fascinated by roop and his approach to um dating and his approach to life um and that's how we got interested in exploring because he looks at friendship in a certain way he looks at dating in a certain way um and we really wanted to explore it and in case of priyam priyam has been a friend uh, we've known her for a very long time she has been she's been an ally of nazaria and she's been a friend of nazaria um and we knew about their living arrangement and this is something that we wanted to explore through the film as well um of course our interactions have changed um it's been a while that we've not been in touch with the hoops it's been a while that uh, we've been in touch with uh, priya but off and on when manages to um speak with them um how do you see such a change taking place i'm not sure if i understand that yeah Okay, so we'll move on to the students now. I think they have few more questions. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, you were talking about rent and accessibility. So you know the documentary kind of circles around the reflection of someone who is multiply marginalized, hmm. the lesbian, the trans man, and of course it affects their you know the access to opportunities. so is it like would you say that it has affected you particularly in some way as well so you know for example has it affected your ability to make the work you want to make mm mm-hmm. um of cost to a certain extent right um samiksha so the reason why one wanted to make a film is because one is living such a reality um Uh, me and the colleague um and azaria works on queer lives we identify with the community and the fact that we have gone through uh, similar struggles not not exactly the same for instance i i was assigned gender female at birth i identify myself as a woman i have not gone through um i've not gone through the struggles that say for instance uh, a roop has or or an or an amy has but in terms of uh, recording to, in progress in terms of trying to find a safe space
pace while growing up or not not being able to see your reality is being represented is something that resonates with me um this whole situation of housing for instance now it 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 resonates with me um roops multiple realities where somebody is calling him a madam parents accepting and then somebody sending a rishta is something that that resonates with me or or a lot of people i know that that these multiple realities exist for a lot of trans people um these multiple realities um this this playfulness of pretending or performing to be a couple for example um exists for a lot of people it does not mean that we are we are sort of uh, we become subversive or but it, it it's about these multiple realities mm-hmm. and in a way the film also sort of talks about these uh, exactly these 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 aspects um well basically like what jena was saying no room of one's own one's own right yeah yeah so nazaria is a room <laughs> of one's own yeah thank you yeah. um right so i mean you know you talked about how there are like uh you know multiple realities and the root struggles are different from from what maybe somebody else would struggle with and things like that and i think it was also mentioned like during the movie how uh male homophobia uh, would is very different from what females experience and there's there's the sense how you know even if you uh even if it's like two women are together or even if some uh, somebody claims that you know somebody comes out as lesbian it doesn't it's not people don't really register it as something because she says not that i mean female sexuality is just not registered only at all so how do you think that plays out in terms of discrimination like when i mean do you think i mean of course denial of identity doesn't make it any easy but in terms of um discrimination that goes towards a little towards violence or active bullying they think uh, uh you know a female or lesbians would would maybe suffer a little less than than maybe a gay man or trans man or trans woman mm-hmm. in that sense mm-hmm. um it's not uh, it's not an olympics of victimization right that who suffers the most um i think all of us all of us irrespective of whether um, easier are, it's easier to get by i mean you can ha 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 so we we all uh, we all have certain we, we utilize certain privileges so priyam for instance they could pretend to be a heterosexual couple and hence they did but it may not be true for uh, somebody else for instance so um, so for example i think all of us go through different discriminations if i can put it this way so the kind of um, the way in which society reacts to a trans woman is very different from the way a society reacts to a trans man um it's very different from how it reacts to a gay post a gay man and versus how it reacts to a lesbian woman um either um lesbian realities are hyper sexualized for example um there is this perception that um lesbian women exist for um for pleasure of specifically there is the, there is this voyeurism attached to lesbian relationships as well right yeah, yeah it's like or, it's like Very exactly uh, exactly and or or it's invisible so um usually a, pa- a lot of parents will say that these are close friends they'll never acknowledge the fact that uh, women could be lovers or for a lot of us how it was so easy when we were in school or when we were in college how it, how how easy it is for us to invite our uh girlfriends so to speak compared to our boyfriends because our parents also tend to think that if you're a woman then the only rishta you can have with another boy is that of sex right and it also denies my sexuality when my parents don't even realize that they could be interested in girls right <laughs> so yeah. it's it so it's it's not really about i think all of us enjoy a fair share of privileges um i could be i am queer but i'm also i i look a certain way i enjoy those privileges i speak a certain language i enjoy those privileges yeah for a trans man 
to a certain extent of course it's difficult but to a certain extent for those who pass off as men things are very different versus a trans woman and also a trans woman who looks a certain way it's it's a difficult situation if 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 you identify if you're from the hijra community you'll be you'll be seen differently if you if you're a trans woman who looks like a woman you'll be seen differently if you're a gay man who's not uh, who, who's not effeminate for example um you're seen differently if if you're a if you're a hyper masculinized <laughs> lesbian woman you're seen differently so it also uh, varies um who you are what you are where you're situated um yeah so it's it's really um i think all of us enjoy relational privileges and all of us um are relatively deprived of certain things so that 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 constant uh, that constant adjustment so to speak or that constant uh, back and forth is always going on um but of course in 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 a patriarchal society it is it is relatively easy i'm not going to say it is easy it is relatively easy for for men to express their sexuality in 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 whatever ways for instance compared to a woman or it's or masculinity is celebrated to a certain extent compared to femininity so yeah yes right that's why so because i mean obviously it's not easier for anybody to express themselves when there's constant uh you know questioning about it but there is there is of course as you said certain privileges that everybody enjoys mm-hmm. in certain certain spheres and yeah i think and so that's why it's like maybe if you know i if i am in relationship with let's say a girl then mm-hmm. and it's just, i could still pass it off as just like two best friends living together yeah then perhaps like if a gay couple were living if a if male gay couples were living it's just a society or or in a you know you know you know in a predominantly say like a punjabi city like in 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 certain areas of delhi it'll be extremely difficult for you to live with your boyfriend without getting yeah. married yeah ha huh. so a there is that invisibility associated uh but you can live together <laughs> so it's always a it's always an if and a but and uh, picking and choosing your battles basically yes right i mean thank you for answering uh if i think jivisha has a question yes thank you so now my question is Do you think that discrimination against the queer people is more prominent in big cities than smaller ones, or is it the other way around? Mm. Oh, no, um, J- Jisha. Again, there's no, there's no easy answer to it. Um, for instance, of course, one can access many more safe spaces or safe people in a big city. but for instance uh, the rate at which we are talking about uh, same sex relationships and the way we are talking about um, issues pertaining to lgbt people there's also there's also this spotlight now on uh, on 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 people who are non who are non who are gender non conforming or who are trans or um, people in same sex relationships because earlier because a lot of us didn't talk about it it was it was a lot easier for people to pass their relationships or to be to remain under the radar but now or 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 for instance in our culture we've always seen men holding hands or men sleeping with each other not not sexually but just sleeping with each other or these deep friendships between women but now because because lgbt issues are in the spotlight um people have also often started questioning any any form of friendship or people have also started uh, calling people names for example that 
if a, if a person acts a certain way they are trans for example so there is this there is this compulsive need to also now label people which may not be the case in a smaller city but uh, the same thing can be then it's the other way around as well that because we are talking about these issues um for a lot of people it might these 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 conversations might be creating a safe space which is say not available to people in smaller towns for example the fact that we are talking about all of these things the fact that kalindi has an active wdc who's who's deeply invested in queer issues um we are trying to create a safe space for 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 our students and it may not be the case in smaller cities which so it's always a and i i really don't know how what would roop's reality be if he was not in puri and he was somewhere else maybe the fact that um, he can pass off as a man mostly on most days is a privilege that he enjoys in a city like puri which may not be the case in delhi ha huh. so it's really not uh, one can't really comment on how, whether it is easier of course you didn't ask in that in that in that you weren't expecting a simplistic answer but even can't really say whether it's easy in urban areas or whether it's difficult in smaller towns it's again it's quite the relative yes ma'am absolutely thank you so much also do we have any more questions Oh uh, yes so if anybody has any questions or would like to share anything with us then they can raise their hands i will unmute them oh uh, yes or type them in the chat box as well i want to ask a question me yeah, i yeah, sure uh recently jo ek movie aayi hai badhai do to wo thoda alag context mein i am asking इट इज वेरी इजी मतलब जैसे दिखाया कि किस तरीके से आप टू अडोप्ट चाइल्ड आप यू कैन मैनिपुलेट द मैरिज सिस्टम ऑफ दिस कंट्री लीगल सिस्टम ऑफ दिस कंट्री अगर कोई मोस्टली कपल मतलब ऐसा कोई करता भी है जैसे मुझे ऐसे फेसबुक पे बहुत रिक्वेस्ट आते हैं कि ऐसी को लेसबियन बता दो यार जो शादी कर ले जैसे बॉयज के आते हैं आई एम गे आई कॉन्ट टेल टू माई पेरेंट्स वो नहीं मान रहे तो मैं लेसबियन के साथ एडजस्टमेंट कर लेता हूँ तो ये ये समवेयर अगर गवर्नमेंट इसको आज लीगल नहीं करती सरोगेसी होमोसेक्सुअल्स के लिए लीगल नहीं करती तो कहीं ना कहीं इट इज हार्मिंग द इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ मैरिज इन दिस कंट्री समवेयर इट इज हार्मिंग द इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ मैरिज इन दिस कंट्री और इसके नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट तो कहीं ना कहीं लीगल सिस्टम पे भी देखने को मिलेंगे फॉर एग्जाम्पल किसी कपल ने शादी करी जस्ट फॉर अडोप्शन There is a gay or there is a lesbian girl. They get married uh, to adopt a child, and they get separated uh, after a few years after the adoption. कहीं ना कहीं ये तो child के लिए भी बहुत ज़्यादा harmful रहेगा जब documents की बात आएगी या बहुत सी चीजें हैं जिसके लिए adoption के लिए. Do you get it? Um, but I don't know. I think. Pros and pros and cons क्या है जब इस तरीके से community के लोग लॉस को मैनिपुलेट कर रहे हैं या फैमिली को नहीं नहीं फैमिली को नहीं मना पा रहे हैं और इस तरीके के एक्शन ले रहे हैं मैंने बहुत सी ऐसे केसेस देखे कि गे बंदा है उसकी शादी करा दी या ट्रांस वुमन थी पेरेंट्स ने शादी करवा दी डिवोर्स में वाइफ उनसे हैवी कंपेंसेशन मांग रही है मुझे उतना मतलब हम उस उतने डिटेल में नहीं जाएंगे कॉम्पेंसेशन लेकिन सब चीजों को लेके बट एंड शादी आई थिंक एक अलग एक शादी के ऊपर एक अलग से डिस्कशन किया जा सकता है बट जनरली आई थिंक लोग शादी करें अडोप्शन के लिए या किसी भी रीजन के लिए आई थिंक शादियां तो बहुत सालों से बहुत सदियों से बहुत कारणों की वजह से करी जा रही हैं राइट तो शादी इज नॉट नेसेसरीली ऑल ऑफ अस डोंट गेट मैरिड बिकॉज वी लव the partner i think all of us get uh, a lot of us get married out of compulsion a lot of us get married because property ka hota hai 
दो फैमिलीज का शादी प्रॉपर्टी की वजह से कराना होता है अ लॉट ऑफ अस गेट मैरिड बिकॉज वी वी थिंक देयर इज नो अदर ऑप्शन बट टू गेट मैरिड तो अम आई आई डोंट थिंक वेयर पीपल गेटिंग मैरिड टू ईच अदर और आउटसाइड ऑफ देयर रिलेशनशिप और व्हाटएवर वुड हार्म द इंस्टीट्यूशन मतलब दैट इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑपरेट्स वेरी डिफरेंटली एंड डिफरेंटली फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल एंड डिफरेंटली फॉर सब कॉन्टेक्स में बहुत अलग तरीके से मैरिज ऑपरेट करती है मतलब स्टेट लोग भी बहुत बहुत कारणों से शादियां करते हैं ऐसा नहीं है कि सिर्फ प्यार के लिए शादियां होती हैं जब हम होमोसेक्सुअलिटी की बात करें तो हम हमारी जनरेशन की भी तो बात करते हैं अगर ठीक है गवर्नमेंट लीगल नहीं कर रही है तो क्या हम जनरेशन की बात नहीं करेंगे आने वाली कल के लिए आने वाले कल के लिए बात नहीं करेंगे I I think uh, this is also a topic which yeah. needs another. Right, yeah, I, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Thank, thank, thank you for the question. Thank though. you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, so I think uh, we are done with most of the questions. Uh, thank you to Tamra for us answering them so patiently. Yeah. Uh, so next we'll move on to the closing ceremony now. Uh, yeah thank you uh, so for that uh, yeah first of all i would uh, like to thank everyone for being here with us today today was the final day for our uh, uh, five days of uh, do- uh, documentary film festival that the wdc has conducted uh, from 15th 14th to 19th but on the 14th we had the inaugural session in uh, for the last five days including today we had these different documentaries that were shown which kind of uh, was uh, where we wish to show a glimpse at the range of what would be thought of as women's life experiences all the five screenings were followed by conversation with the respective filmmakers and uh, the conversations were orchestrated by a team of uh, a yeah, team of undergraduate students of kalindi college itself which was indeed very enriching and very enlightening for a lot of us and similarly uh, uh, the same case like today as well we had a very nice conversation with tambara so i would like to invite our convener uh, miss neeta tigor uh, for uh, the closing address yeah hello uh, Dr. Anita, hello. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm traveling, but tell me. Yeah. Okay, so I'm traveling a little bit, and therefore, you know, I have to be on the mask. But uh, thank you, Ritambar. Uh, uh, I'm sorry that I could not be a part of the film or watch it. Uh, I was actually on my way. but uh, i'm sure dolkar ashi said that you know the film must have been really good and like the other filmmakers the interactions that we have had with the other filmmakers i'm sure you must have made a very meaningful uh, you know intervention for our students uh, uh, what was very really important for this film festival to happen is that you know the team came together to put it and students really participated in it uh so congratulations everybody you know and uh, um, of course thank you to the wdc team to nazaria who are already our collaborators and um, and all the filmmakers who joined us on various days we were able to put up stories of women and try to i think the basic idea that was behind it was to show that you know the intersectionalities that is there between gender class uh, caste and uh, other kinds of uh, any other kind of social disadvantage so uh, congratulations again to everybody and thank you uh, ritambara for joining us uh, and uh, congratulations student as well over to dolkar thank you dr tigor yeah thank you next i would like to uh, yeah adak i think uh, uh, yeah i would like to uh, ask everyone to open their cameras for the photographs yeah yeah 
डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म फेस्टिवल थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन बाय थैंक यू ओके बाय 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 थैंक यू Has everyone left? Dolkar, uh, I think we were supposed to do a meeting today, but I think let's postpone it till Monday. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. ठीक है ना? हम्म हम्म. Okay, can I ring? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I think. Uh, I'll, I'll. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you yeah. Madhuri, yes. One second. Ha, uh, Madhuri. Sorry. Hello. Hello, Madhuri. Yeah, Dolkar. I just want to point out that recording is still on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Let me stop. The, uh, yeah. Recording stopped. Okay. Uh-huh.